Welcome one and all, Gilex is back with another video. Oh boy. Uh, still on the hunt to find my little area for my nether portal, which this is will work out. I actually found one of the torches that I placed um, previously uh, to find my tunnel that I had dug through. And if we come right on over here, there should be a tunnel. Because I think what I end up doing, I went that direction, but I didn't like what I saw. And I thought I'd end up tunneling straight, but here we go. I guess I didn't tunnel straight. I guess I did go that direction. So here is my little area that I'm going to come through and build a rail railway. And it's pretty wide open. Well, somewhat. Ah, so that brick was there for who knows how long. Um, let's see. Now I gotta figure out where. Because I, I try to keep things straight. I thought I did. And I don't see no porches. Torches. Porches. <laughs> Which is here. Um, let's see. Around. And I didn't come from up over there. But this is for sure the area. Um, well, I can't say for sure. Um, oh! It's kind of nice when you can catch sight of where the shoot. And he's still shooting. Okay. So, this is good to have a bow in your hand. <sighs> so, I don't see. And I'm quite sure this is the. Yeah, that's the way I came from. I remember when I did that little tunnel thing there. Let me just make sure. Look around here. I thought I. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut the recording here for a second. And I'm gonna look around here a little bit. That way I don't waste another 12 minutes of your time. So, Galax will be back. Hello, one and all. Galax is back with you with another episode of Minecraft um, <clears throat> on the hunt for my portal and as you can see I found it um, I forgot that it ended up in the middle of the ocean on a little island out there and I kept running around looking for it and pretty much running past it um, there because I am eventually going to build a little railroad um, actually I want to mark well I guess it doesn't matter uh, on my last video I had talked about a um, okay that's not the spot um, there was a man, what happened here um, a fortress is it up here? There was a fortress that I was working with. Ah, there we go. There we go. And it's over that way. So that's not the fortress anyway close to my new area. Because my new area is this way. In my last video I was running around here looking for another hole. And um, I would have never found it. Because there wasn't one. So now that I've found that, I have got to go through and get more rail, um, rail line and stuff and run it all the way this direction so that um, I don't have to uh, run back and forth on boats to get back and forth to my area. And to me, from my understanding, oh excuse me, sorry about that. Um, I guess it's eight times the distance. Well, I guess so because it is hundreds of blocks away. 
I mean, it's a thousand blocks away. Uh, at least for, um, where my, oh, my stuff is. So, which is up here. So, I guess that's just about right. Um, because this here is only about a hundred blocks or so. So, <clears throat> go ahead and eat something. Um, oops. And I don't think I want. Well, I mean, I guess I could build like a little station or something right there, so I can just run in and out of my portal. And hopefully, it's not nighttime. And I didn't need all this netherrack. I might try to find a lava lake to throw it in. Um, I am sipping on some tea. And let me take my earpiece off. And um, and I'm sipping on tea. I have um, what they call acid reflux disease. And yeah, so I gotta sip something hot in order for the pain in my chest to go away. And so, anyway, I, I need to sip on that for a little bit, and I'll get right back with you. All right, I'm back uh, with my little bout of uh, acid reflux there. Um, now I'm on the hunt for some cows. I can I, I need some cows. Uh, I need some books so I can finish my little sh shelves and stuff. And I mean, I could kill these horses. I hate to kill the horses. Um, but also the cow can give me food. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I do not know. There's nothing in my throat. It's just drying out on me. So anyway. Um, uh, what this has a reflux to all you kids out there. Uh, and I mean kids. And same thing with adults. But for the most part I mean the kids. Uh, when, when I was a kid. I went to the doctors. Because I had um, a problem swallowing. Um my food would not sometimes sometimes I would eat uh, okay it's a lot of cows and donkeys oh, I mean horses and donkeys I really feel like killing some of them for the, the leather oh, I don't know if I should go but anyway I um, told the doctor that I was having problems swallowing and I was probably about 11 or 12 and um, pretty much they just told me you know and again, I'm a kid, so uh, I don't even think my mother was in a room. Um, I can't remember. Uh, but I told, and even if she was, um, they're the doctor. And to me, if you're the doctor, I'm going to take your word. And anyway, uh, so the doctor would pretty much said that uh, you just grow out of it. It's just a, a little phase or whatever. And no diagnosis was given or anything. So, once I got older and I'm in my mid-teens, mid late teens, um, I remember distinctly going to a restaurant and the food did not stay down. I'll just put it that way. Um, and so, that really concerned me. But at the same time, I just I was kind of used to it by, by that time. So, okay, I'm going to have to kill some of these horses. I hate to do this. Um, and he he didn't drop no leather, so I I don't want to kill horses. Okay, so um, come to find out as an adult, uh, get into my late twenties, get married, and my wife like, look, you you can't be, you know, this this ain't good for you. It, there's no way that it's good for you, and plus I had a better health plan and everything. So she's like, we are going to get this checked out. Well, come to find out, I was born with a condition. I, I don't know. It developed, um, what is it called? Um, it's, it's where your sphincter don't, don't open to allow your food to go into your stomach. And that's something that normally happens. We don't even know that it's happening within in your body. Um, it just does it automatically. And so um, mine was not working. 
And so they had to go in and do some surgery or whatever and kind of bypass the sphincter and everything. Um, and now I'm able to eat and my food stay down. But because of the way they did the bypass, I'll say, um, I get heartburn frequently. Um, I, there's medicine that I take for it, but there's still sometimes where it, it, it you just get heartburn because um, it's just you dealing with your body, dealing with stomach acid and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, it's not a good condition, um, and I'm not gonna go too many details uh, about that. But you know, I, I'm everything is fine. I'm fine. So so I made it back to my place. But anyway, uh, the, the the main moral of the story is if you go to the doctor and they say, oh, you'll grow out of it, you'll be fine. Find out what the condition is. And then do you now, because growing up there was no <laughs> internet, really, uh, mainly, actually, there was no inter internet um, to go home and, you know, do your own research on problems and what it could be and what it may not be and all that stuff. But that's one thing you want to do is do your own research. Don't take the doctor's word, because uh, some doctors they they I, they they don't care. Uh, and even if they did care, they may be limited on what they can do for you. So they just tell you something so that you get some sort of comfort. Um, and that's it's not comforting to you, uh, but they'll give you an answer that may or may not help you so anyway do your own research on that um i'm not sure how much time i have left in this episode i still wanted to finish my conversation on friends and friendship that i started in a video ago